Okay. A lot of people think you can just grab yourself a CB antenna, you just bolt a mount to something, or you attach your antenna, run a, a good piece of coax there, and all of a sudden you're done. you got a great SWR. And it does not work that way. There's so much more to the system than just how you mount the antenna. And basically what I'm showing you here is this is right about channel 19. I got a 6.83 SWR, and if you look at the graph, there's no low dip anywhere on the on the band. Basically, that's a lousy SWR and lousy antenna system. Even though you can pay top dollar for an antenna system, but if you don't have a good RF ground, it is not going to work. Anyways, you can actually create an artificial ground plane. It's great for testing antennas. And it's nothing more than an antenna attached to the attached to the ground, aimed downward. I think they used to call them rooster tail or something like that, but basically you can see you've got the regular mirror mount there with a the nylon wash on here. Um, what you're doing is putting another stud mount assembly with no nylon washer, so this antenna's actually got a dead short to ground, but like I said, that creates an artificial ground plane. Okay, we got the artificial, basically the grounding radio hooked up. Doing a check there, we got a nice low dip right about the CB band. We're roughly on channel 19 at 27.18, and I got a 1.73 SWR. It's what I like to see. All it takes is just the right RF ground, and you can have a good R, a good SWR with a good dip.